biggest learning after attending the yung alumni module na ito. As I can recall, the alumni module is more on the sustainability and uh, multi-sectoral approach and involving the social, so other social determinants. So at least with the alumni uh, module, I, uh, I come to realize that uh, so much has to be done and health is not an isolated issue. So uh, my, what, am I, what I am doing now is to process or to integrate all those learnings from, uh, from the UMAC experience and from the uh, alumni module. Speaking of the UMAC Mayor, ano yung pagkakaiba if there is? Is there a difference in the lessons learned? sa alumni mo module sa UMAC sa pagiging isang yes. leader. As far as I am concerned, continuation lang yung ano eh, more advanced yung alumni module. Mm -hmm. And it's more of an application of the UMAC experience. Mm -hmm. So that the UMAC exper experience was the foundation mm -hmm. of the alumni module. And uh, we thank you for giving us the alumni module. Uh, how did you apply your learning from the alumni module in your current work, Miami? So, um, now I, I'm in the process of uh, in, of applying those learnings through uh, multi-sectoral approach. So, I am doing it slowly because it's a new experience for the, especially for the community volunteers. It's the first time that they are uh, being involved Mm -hmm. in uh, governance or in uh, managing a community, especially in identifying problems mm -hmm. and most especially in giving solutions. Mm -hmm. So they, they, what, what they were doing before was just to give you the problem, mm -hmm. but then it's up to you to solve your problem. Mm -hmm. But now we are encouraging them to be part of the solution. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm starting with the special bodies, with the health sector, with the uh, local health board, local school board, and then the local uh, poverty and their uh, the local poverty and their LPRAT oh, LPR. LPR reduction team. Yeah. So more community volunteers there. Yeah. And then with the with the health and education summit there were um, yeah. community volunteers then and they were so excited to be part of the Kamusta pala yung Health and Education Summit Mayor? Maganda no. I'm excited na sila. How did you come up with that idea? Parang, from the CFF. Pero how did you organize it? Ano yung, kung, kung may mayor na nakikinig ngayon o nanonood, ano yung how-to mo na pwedeng ituro sa kanya if gusto niya rin buwan yun? We, we, uh, we, uh, I had uh, two members of the, of the ano, not the community, but with the, from the ed education sector and from the uh, Samuel Bayan who joined me in the alumni module. So, uh, with us discussing the social determinants, so we discussed that we will uh, hold an education and uh, health summit and uh, with more participation from the community volunteers because we have many, we have many uh, uh, non-government or people's organizations here, although some of them are not are not registered with the SEC or with the DOLE or, the Dole or with the Sanko de Ambayan, but then they are uh, formally uh, organized. And ang pwede kong pagmayabang is ang Fisher Fox organization namin. We have institutionalized our coastal resource management. And from there, I am learning from that experience that we have to when we, if we want to organize them, there should be continuous communication with the group. Mm -hmm. So now I have instructed the agriculture sector to integrate all their organi farmers organizations because they have the rice farmers organization, they have the vegetable grower, they have the high value crops grower, mm -hmm. and they have the mango producers. So I, and the two, I instruct them to integrate so that there will be one representative from the agriculture sector to be at the uh, special bodies. And at, you know what, um, just getting them uh, involved, can make pride. Mm -hmm. 
So, yeah. nagsimula yeah. kami yours. You, you started with your people's organization. Mm -hmm. We have people's organization actually, and uh, I learned so much from the coastal resource management because they are having regular meetings. These are folks have regular meetings, but they dug up and and the these are folks themselves, pharmacy, and so, okay. they are empowered because of, and because of that we have so many awards. Okay, sa likod mo mayor. Awards nila sa these are folks. And the secret actually is campaigns communication and focal person. Ito ka focal person. Yes, there should be a focal person who should who, who should attend to all the fiscal arrangements, the communications, and then that's the, that's why um, uh, this year, just this uh, a few days ago, mm -hmm. I hired uh, there was a there uh, there was a vacancy for administrative aid. Mm -hmm. I hired one who is uh, from Kalahi. Mm -hmm. He is uh, experienced in community organizing, so I hired mm -hmm. him and. Uh, assigned him at the Rural Health Unit Center with community organizing as part of his job description mm -hmm. and at the same time the population officer. So masasabi mo mayor na yung community organizing aspect yung lumitaw na bago sa alumni module. Mm -hmm. Kailangan yung yung talaga ang, ang community mobili mobilization. mobilization. Although nagginagawa na namin yan sayo. noon yeah. but then medyo nag backslide. Medyo mm -hmm. nag Ano yung mga challenges mayo sa pag-organize o pag-mobilize ng community? From your perspective From as mayor? From my perspective, kung um, mga politika pa rin sa mga barangay captains. May barangay captains pa rin talaga, politika ang tinitignan. Kaya there, there are times when go directly to the community. So nagkukulay? Oh, we just inform them. If they don't want to participate, if they don't, we can do, we do it ourselves. We, we send communications to the community and then the mothers are there, the midwives are there. So, mas namumobilize. <laughs> Mayor, what does it mean to be a ZFF alumnus? Ano yung ibig sabihin? Parang Shepherd, Miss Universe na ano. Shepherd value added. <laughs> Parang what do you think ang pag sinasabing ZFF alumnus? ZFF alumnus. In other words, okay. what are the what are the attributes of a ZFF alumnus? Dapat medyo ano ka na, medyo nasa level ka na na, na uh, ang ang outlook mo na sa governance, sa leadership ay nasa level na na hindi na ikaw. You need, you need the other other people or other members of the community to help you. Mm -hmm. Hindi na yung si ako, si ako. Mm -hmm. It should be parang ka ng magpakoon. Yes. And then, pati dun sa, ano, sa solutions. If ever na may solutions, and I don't say na, oh, because it's the focus of me. And that, that's what I am telling you mga community volunteers. Ngayon kasi, hindi na pwede yung si ako. Dapat tayo. Okay. Ayun na, 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 more or less na-internalize naman yung mga So, unti-unti, um, kahit na mga kontra ko sa politika, masalit ko. Because, the good intentions, maganda na intentions. Na-involve sila. And siyempre, pag, pag, may, pag mayroong mga appreciation sa efforts namin, it's, uh, I, I tell them, oh, CFF ako, CFF ako na yan. So, tiyo. Ano mo sa CFF? Oh, so, hindi ka na ako. So, ano yun? Value added yun sa akin. <laughs> Kahapon na nito taga TESDA, sabi niya, huwag ano ba ang loob? Nagraratsyada sa award? Iba talaga ang seasoned leader. Sabi ko, si FF, ano kasi? Ito ang tuwa yung director, provincial director ng TESDA. Siguro naririnig niya doon sa, sa other agencies. Ito, final question niya. Ano yung mga remaining health challenges? Narinig naman natin siguro kanina. <laughs> If any, at ano yung mga currently you're doing to address those health challenges? Uh, 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 to address yeah, or planning to do, planning to do. Uh, yun nga I have consulted with the DepEd religious sec and sa social so DSWD mm -hmm. uh, DSWD provincial and regional mm -hmm. so uh, with the funding support from them we will put up a crisis on the present center and then uh, with DepEd we will soon organize yung, uh, I mean, uh, uh, we will organize 
organize a team with the how to involve the and the youth sector. Mm -hmm. We will identify leaders from the youth. So multi-sectoral uh, approach. Multi-sectoral pa rin, oo. At um, nag-oon na rin naman yung sa religious sect. Because every Monday we have pastors as guests mm -hmm. ano namin, inspirational speakers. speakers. So, medyo, yun nga sa kay Roms, tahan-tahan lang. Mm -hmm. <laughs> May yung pabigla tapos na ano na, you have rich your pig and then, so, gradual. Para ma-internalize nila, ma-sustainable pa, gradual mo. Kung meron kang mayor ma-suggest na, na pwede pang iturot sana sa ibang mayor, sa alumni module, na makakatulong sa mga mayor sana? Something na gusto pang matutunan? Or Parang naibigay na rin naman ninyo. Eh, ang problema, problema talaga is yung recipient, yung ano mismo. Nasa yung tra training. training na. Uh -huh. Dapat uh, receptive siya. Hmm. Dapat meron siyang desire to learn hmm. more. Hmm. Otherwise, useless. Hmm. They will just go to to the training to the let's say to the parang school or whatever, and then after that, mm -hmm. and then you follow up. You follow up. Because it's a reminder. So I got to you follow up. Yes, yeah, you follow up. It's a reminder. Oh, you have you have a commitment. Oh, you have a target. Oh, you. Have So, sa sa mga ano pa mamaraan ng follow up na mas gusto niyo pa rin yung mas iyon pa lang or what oh and then yung siyempre yung yung training mm. alam niyo ba kasi mga training sa akin kasi mas advanced kami oh. sa nutrition wala pa sa dinner oh. first na concentration oh. okay. so siya pa yung aming bagong ano eh, So, mas gusto niyo pa yung mga ganyan, mga ganun, no, technical, oh. workshops, Ito, technical na. workshops. Saka iba kasi din ang workshops yung sabi nga namin. Pag swelling ko ng patawag, madugo yan. Wala kang pahinga hanggang gabi. Kaya tuyo ang utak mo. <laughs> <laughs> But then, it's worth it. Kasi those are informations, those are knowledge and skills na hindi naman maalis sa inyo. We think yun na. No one you can take it away. <laughs> Kaya nakaka-relate kami mas kaysa ang ano no, ako, nakaka-ano ako, nakaka-relate ako sa mga discussions kung saan mas di ma kaya kaya because of me. Wala yun sa ano eh, wala na, kasi wala na kami masyadong ano ngayon with the national government. The ILG, hindi na naman nagbibigay ng mga ganyan trainings. EOH, hindi na rin sa Calcamba. Hindi na ako since the evolution. So tamang-tama lang, Mayor, na yung content ng uh -huh. alumni uh -huh. module ay social determinants. Sa social determinants. Kasi yun naman talaga ang ano eh. Kaya, kaya hindi tayo umaangat eh. Kasi we tend to do it by ano, parang piece, kanya-kanya. Agriculture, agriculture lang. Ang health, health lang. So may other factors. Pero pag pinagsama mo, education. Medyo magandang relationship namin with education. Kaya maganda din ang mga nagiging give and take na. May problema sila, plus may problema kami. So, na ano, yeah, masaya. Mayor, thank you.